Hi all. Myself Dr. Suresh working as a professor in uh, Computer Science Engineering Department KPR Institute of Engineering Technology Coimbatore Tamil Nadu India. This session I am going to to speak you about introduction to wireless sensor network. Have you ever wondered about uh information like uh, sometimes you receive information like um 27 degree celsius partially cloud cloud maybe raining these sort of messages you would have received in the mobile as well as in a desktop uh, application somewhere sometime right have you ever wondered about how this information uh, is received have you ever wondered about air quality index ratio is calculated like carbon dioxide this level nitrogen this level the technology behind all these things are wireless sensor networks before let us get into this wireless sensor network let us first of all uh, know dissect each and every word present in this uh, one wireless sensor networks first of all let us uh, take a sensor a sensor is a ele uh, electrical or electronic device capable of environmental sensing environmental variability sensing mechanism that convert into electrical signal but as far as this ws and wireless sensor network is concerned individual sensor only cannot do any activities so what they do in the sense sensor consists of other informations like uh, ca controller for computation purpose transceiver to send the data to other nearby nodes and collect data from other nearby nodes and to interact with the so so sensor implicitly means sensor nodes so this uh, sensor nodes uh, uh communicate with one another in a wireless mode not a wired mode that's what a wireless comes networks because the sensor nodes makes a network to collaboratively work to increase the area of coverage hence the term comes a wireless sensor node networks or sensor network simplicity meaning so this session i am going to tell you about what is wireless sensor networks what are the functional component it consists of and the key terminologies associated with sensor nodes these are all the things we are going to discuss this is one of the rocking technology in the present world what is wireless sensor networks wireless sensor networks refer to networks of specially dispersed and dedicated sensors that monitor and record the physical conditions of the environment and forward the collected data to the central location sensor already you are familiar uh, because uh, you are using a mobile in which you would have come across a uh, plenty of sensors a uh, tilt sensor when you um, change horizontally vertically uh, mobile then that landscape as well as a portrait shape comes right then gyroscope sensors then touch sensors then fingerprint sensors so even the camera also a sensor so that's what the sensors so this sensors uh, are uh, spatially dispersed actually sensors are not merely spatially dispersed sensor nodes are spatially dispersed i said what is the difference between sensor as well as the sensor node sensor can only sense the data but you should have other things also like transceiver to receive the data and send the data to other places and it has to collaboratively work that's what the network also comes and there should not be a wire because uh, uh, in all places we cannot give the wired connections so that's what uh, the definition comes here so they define wireless sensor networks as networks of spatially dispersed and dedicated sensor say for an example suppose you are interested to identify uh, the fire in that uh, forest place okay so dedicated sensor in the sense here what type of sensors you are interested you are interested to identify fire sensor right when it, the heat exceeds certain threshold then let me know similarly for weather forecasting you are interested to know about humidity level humidity air quality index gas sensors such as things sensors you are using 
So that's what uh, the dedicated sensors that monitor and record the physical conditions of the environment. It senses the physical environment and convert into electrical signals. That's what uh, the role of sensors. And forward the collected data to the central location. Merely uh, collecting the data is not sufficient enough. You should come across a certain knowledge, information you should come across. From the collected data, it should be uh, come to the conclusion like uh, there is uh, some uh, fire in the forest place right uh, here traffic is very higher e even in the google map also sometimes you try to ask like the distance between this place to that place uh, route map from this place to this place google used to say like because of the traffic uh, this is the optimized route we are founding something said uh, speaks no this is because all the places that the sensor nodes are kept and they uh, collaboratively cooperatively works that is the reason uh, how it is able to do these sort of things so WSN can measure environmental conditions such as temperature sound pollution level humidity and wind so wind wind level it can calculate from the wind level calculation only a lot of sensor nodes collaboratively calculate and says like um, weather forecasting and so on pollution level easily we can identify carbon dioxide carbon monoxide nitrogen these sort of things are all from the gas sensor you can calculate and you can give the air quality index so from the sound sensor you can identify like vibrations uh, sound related thing from uh, vibrations you can identify like nearby factories what is the problem these sort of things you can easily calculate see you can see here um, a plenty of sensor nodes are dispersed and all are in connection with one another communication with one another and collect the data and send it to the um, base station uh, that is where the data is needed no that place it is uh, send send say look at this it forms its own uh, infrastructure actually there is no infrastructure it forms its own uh, topology infrastructure on demand and sends the data to the base station where it the computational activities are carried out I, I told you no the major thing for that uh, wireless sensor network is uh, sensor node M merely a sensor cannot be able to do anything a sensor node is needed sensor node means sensor with microcontroller for computation purpose and uh, transceiver communication that is the transmitter as well as the receiver both uh, component for communication and the power unit particularly battery powered components only are available for sensor nodes we are going to discuss what is the limitation of uh, our cha design challenges of uh, sensor node in which we are going to discuss about this uh, energy management such a things battery powered uh, unit only available for this uh, sensor node and uh, these components all together make the sensor node or the individual sensor you can see that WSN sensors are equipped with a sensing limited computation microcontroller that is embedded OS and memory and wireless communication capabilities so this wireless communication capabilities let this sensor node to interact with the other nodes so you can see this diagram this diagram clearly tell you about how uh, one interact with the other so now this is another terminology you have come across in a regular interval that is moat what is moat really sensor node is used to be called as moat moat or sensor node both are interchangeably used terminologies so the moat or the sensor node usually consists of essential components see you can see moat basically consists of a low cost and a power computer this what this is what they are telling this is what they are telling next the computer monitors one or more sensors sensors may be for temperature light sound position acceleration vibration stress weight pressure humidity depending upon the application the sensor type may differ in the no uh, mode this is sensing unit no here 
for uh, structural monitoring structural monitoring uh, it can use like vibration sensor for um, e air quality index here gas sensor may present for uh, forest fire detection this sensor can be a temperature sensor and so on next the computer connects to the outside world with the radio link look at this transceiver this is a radio link that may send the detail to other nodes nearby nodes because the particular activity cannot be carried out by a single sensor node it has to collaboratively do the work all together okay so that's what modes mode or sensor node a plenty of sensor node spatially uh, spatially distributed and can communicate with one another uh, uh, collect the data and send it to the base station where uh, it is processed and come to the decision so what is wireless sensor networks are networks that consists of sensors which are distributed in an ad hoc manner ad hoc manner means structureless what is structureless if you take a computer networking technology wired computer networking technology in which you can see like a router switch hub those are all makes the infrastructure right however ad hoc in the sense there is no uh, such a devices are available and there is no fixed structures uh, infrastructure is available Uh, it can spontaneously make the infrastructure by itself right and it can change accordingly this is what the definition about the wireless sensor networks the sensor work with each other to sense some physical phenomena and then information gathered is processed to get the relevant results say very simplest example forest fire example let us take suppose you have put plenty of uh, temperature sensor in a uh, spatially dispersed place a plenty of sensor nodes you have put somewhere uh, some four or five node or 100 sensor nodes have identified the temperature at a particular threshold level and it sent it to the base station now they come to know about the location where the fire man uh, that the forest caught fire and they can take the action that's what they are telling gathered is processed to get the relevant results wireless sensor network consists of protocols algorithm with self organizing capabilities self organizing capabilities is the essential characteristics here wireless sensor network should consist of because it is ad hoc structureless infrastructureless you should have the self organizing ability such a type of protocols need to be designed so there is another type of ad hoc networks already we would have studied uh, in the name of a wireless ad hoc network or mobile ad hoc network uh, someone can ask the question like how do you differentiate that this wireless sensor network with the ad hoc network wireless sensor networks mainly use the broadcast communication wireless sensor network cover currently discussing this network uh, have uh, broadcast communication however that mobile ad hoc network manet ad hoc network have point to point communication unlike ad hoc network wireless sensor networks are limited by sensors limited power sensors are having a battery in which the power is very much limited even the computational capability and the energy level also very limited comparing with this manet mobile ad hoc network or wireless sensor net wireless uh, ad hoc network comparing with that sort of uh, one you can ask me the question like uh, uh, given example for uh, wireless ad hoc network laptop other devices no without any access point they can communicate with one another and uh, in the mobility also it can uh, communicate with one another and can make a topology and can make that uh, spontaneous infrastructure that is a very good example for mobile ad hoc network sensor nodes may not have global id there is no physical ip address is needed for this for uh, interacting with one another that's what they are telling sensor nodes may not have global id because of the large amount of overhead and the large number of sensors so it does not use global id like ip address identifications uh, used in this computer networks 
what are the enabling technologies that makes wireless sensor networks an interesting thing three technologies are widely used one is embedded one is embedded and another one is network communication and the another one is sensing so embed uh, that is a microcontroller no that is said to be the embedded technology and that related operating system also used that's what they are telling embed numerous distributed devices to monitor and interact with the physical world next a network this is very important uh, it to gives uh, communication for all other sensor nodes to collaboratively work so network devices to coordinate and perform higher level task next is sensing devices so these devices are needed uh, it used to collect information from external world so if you want to know about an example for like a sensor node or moat then uh, widely used uh, two modes i have uh, given one is said to be the mica 2 moat see look at this this is how it looks uh, it is uh, developed by university of california berkeley and uh, sold by crossbow vendor it consists of as usual those three components what are the components three components sensing unit depending upon the application transceiver communication that is antenna and the microcontroller as well as the power unit it need to have so look at this it, it it consists of you can see the devices are very limited and there is no wired communication is available so mica 2 moot is one of the most popular and commercially available sensor which are marked by crossbow technology there is one more moot is used um, is given here telas moot this moot uses 802.15.4 compliant this is a type of uh, wireless communication 802.15.4 is comes under the category of uh, wireless uh, low range low range uh, wireless pawn category low range uh, radio okay high data rate radio with integrated antenna a low power mcu microcontroller unit right there are also equipped with the extended memory and an optional sensor suite so there should be at least one sensor should be there then only that the sensor node uh, get the meaning it looks as follows look at this here look at this the first thing is you can have the radio signal transceiver to trans uh, to transmit as well as the receiving and you can see like a, a sensor humidity sensor temperature sensor is available here and the battery should be there battery should be there okay so this is another sensor node example you can see like the hardware setup can easily be made with this see look at this a lot of uh, sensor nodes are there and it is uh, put it here for some other purpose and here the one more sensor node act as a um, act as a sink which collects the data from all these uh, sensor node and which is sent it to the uh, terminal terminal or the base station where it is processed to get the useful information so this is what all about that uh, wireless sensor wireless sensor network so uh, today's session i in this session i gave you the explanation about what is wireless sensor network introduction about what is wireless sensor network by dissecting uh, that uh, wsn word into sensor sensor node what is uh, networking what is wireless why wireless is needed right so and what a sensor node means what are the component it consists of that thing we discussed moat is none other than sensor node we discussed where it is used such a things we discussed how it differs from traditional ad hoc network we discussed and the most important point is a global id does not uses we discussed 
and the enabling technologies that makes this wireless sensor networks the rocking thing we discussed thank you